Hey y'all. Okay, so we're back from the farmer's market and I'm going to show you just the basics of uh, making a, my favorite, the tomato sandwich. Now, obviously we need our salt and pepper, we need our fresh white bread, and your favorite mayonnaise. Um, mine is JFG. A lot of people like Dukes, but whatever. Um, okay, so you'll see I've got several different tomatoes here. When we bought these, um, they were really green, but obviously sitting on the counter or being around other ripened tomatoes, they start to ripen really quickly. These are still um, uh, firm enough that we can use them for fried green tomatoes, but I'm going to put them off to the side. This one and this one. You will notice that they start to ripen and get a little orange tint. That's fine, nice and firm. Still not ready though. Now these big boys, there again, look how big that is. As big as my hand. One slice will make a sandwich. Very good, very firm tomato. This one's ready. That one's almost ready. This one's definitely ready. That's the one that looks like the heart. See, it looks like a heart. So these two, I'm gonna, not gonna cut those today. I believe these are either German Johnson, German Jean Beef Masters, I'm not sure. Now this one is the purple heirloom or purple Cherokee tomato. So this one is really, really good. Very meaty, very juicy, really good on sandwiches. Of course, all of them are, but this one is, is my new favorite. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. And a lot of people think, what's the big deal? It's just a tomato sandwich. Well, let me show you a secret. Now, being from the deep south, like I am, one of the things I was taught at a very early age was that when you make a tomato sandwich, you always peel the tomato. If you haven't ever tried it like that, then please give it a try. Okay, now what I do, um, it's pretty, I mean, it's clean, but we're going to take all the peeling off. It's going to make a whole different way that the tomato sandwich tastes. It's just really, really good. Okay, so we've got an extra sharp knife. Okay, we're going to cut this area out. Okay, just go around in a circle. And this is the, the top part. You see that? We're not going to eat that. Oh, that smells so, so good. This is going to be a wonderful tomato sandwich. Okay, now, we're going to start anywhere. Just get, just, we want to go just under the skin. See that right there? Just under the skin. With my thumb, I'm just feeling as I slide the knife along. See how I'm laying my thumb down? I can feel that I'm just barely under that skin, under that peeling. This is going to make all the difference in the world for a tomato sandwich. Obviously, if you're doing sandwich, uh, excuse me, salads, it's not such a big deal. You can go ahead and cube those bad boys and put them in a salad with the peeling on after you've washed them but now if you're a true southern girl look at there i can i can peel one probably in my sleep but i can peel it and never break the whole have it in one peel usually just not even to be disconnected but i'm i'm turning the tomato with my left hand i'm right-handed and then i'm sliding that knife very slowly sawing very slowly back and forth underneath that that pink we don't want to cut into the meat of the tomato too much where the seeds and everything are so we're just going to slide slide it around and it's gonna your hands are gonna get wet that's fine it's very juicy tomato so i'm almost done see how it's just coming along there went my peeling and broke it. Oh well. No big deal. Okay, now we got one little piece right here. Underneath there. Now, look at that. That is a beautiful, delicious, 
ripe, juicy red tomato. That slice right there is my favorite. So I'm going to show you one. Okay. See all that? It's still it's got juice all up. That's fine. Now, you can turn it like this if you want to. I can, I'm pretty good at this, so I can, I cut towards my hands. I'm very careful though. Now this slice is my, is, I, I always say it's the best. That is the best slice in the world of a tomato sandwich. Look at that. Look how meaty. That's the meat of the tomato, which means not lots of seeds and definitely not grainy. You can tell this tomato has never ever been put in the refrigerator. You never want to put tomatoes in the refrigerator because they turn very very gritty and grainy if so. You want to serve them at room temperature. Now we got three slices out of that. So that's perfectly for a, for a tomato sandwich. We got three perfect slices. So, had to wet my hands for a minute. Okay. Now, another key: salt, pepper. I have very liberal salt shakers. So I'm just gonna very lightly salt. And these are good. You can serve them just like this on the side with a meal. You can serve them um, for even on the side for breakfast is wonderful also. But like I said, we're doing a tomato sandwich and pepper, black pepper. Okay, now juicy tomato means it can make your bread soggy. So what you need to do? Got to have mayonnaise. You can toast the bread if you want to, but I don't. Okay, I'm a mayonnaise. I love mayonnaise. And I probably, I'm not putting as much on this sandwich as I normally would. But the mayonnaise is going to seal the bread. See how I do that? So the juice from the tomatoes doesn't make the bread really soggy. Okay, so you want to put a, some on each side. Like that. So we've got our mayonnaise ready. Now, personal preference, I'm going to pepper it, pepper it again. <laughs> now, I want you to look at here. I can put one slice, and that makes a tomato sandwich. But I love, 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 love lots of tomato. So I am going to put a piece there, a piece there, and this other one right there. So I got a nice and thick tomato sandwich. Now put our bread on, smush it down just a little bit. That's, that one right there is just an added bonus. Okay. Slice or don't slice, however, you want, I just want to show you how it looks. Best lunch in the world, especially in the summertime. Look at that beautiful, beautiful. Let me see if I can get my light over here so you can see it better. That beautiful tomato sandwich. Look at that. Juicy, yum, yum, yum. Now, Here's another, if you like, if you like hot peppers or hot food, the perfect compliment is a really big hot pepper, some cayennes, or if you don't like hot, you can do a sweet banana pepper. That's also very good. You can do pickles on the side or chips. The main thing is just enjoy your tomato sandwich. It's wonderful for you. Lots of lutein and some other, some other things. So, hope you enjoy this video. Please like, subscribe, comment. Tell me what, tell me how you like to make yours. And we're gonna have lots more 
re recipes coming up soon from the products that we got at the farmer's market. Until next time, remember, keep it sassy, keep it southern, and keep it in the family. Bye-bye.